I mean, looking at those been... clips, what do you feel when you look at old clips of... Oh, I remember the events, the day, the time, how you felt. That, um, that clip of the song, we were shooting in Brixton. And it was freezing oh, cold. Okay. Brixton, UK. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. And well, because it was Billy Ocean, yeah, so we came over yeah. to work with him. One of my favourite films, I've got to tell you, because I was having a bit of a chinwag with you in the in the um, uh, makeup room. Is that what you call chatting? Chin yeah, chatting, yeah, well. sorry, yeah. yeah. And I said, um, War of the Roses. Same here. One of my favourite, favourite films. I really? loved you for that. <laughs> you said to me, mention the chandelier. What's oh, yes. about the chandelier? Oh, well, because we shot the chandelier scene when they're both hanging there, yeah? Yeah. For two weeks. And one of the things that's important in film is continuity, mm -hmm. right? You have to match exactly your position from the day before. So every morning they would lower the chandelier down to the <laughs> ground. And we were able to match our bodies exactly because we would line up the bruises oh, of the arms. <laughs> We're just like, yeah, that's right. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. uh, I'm on it, you know. And so you knew exactly where you were. Yeah. You, had a great... oh. you, you got on very well with Michael Douglas, didn't you? Oh, and Danny. Was... It's always yeah. been the three of us. Yeah. And the, yeah, it kind of feels like a gang, you know. Didn't some naughty boys have a bet? Jack point. Nicholson told yeah. me mm -hmm. that when I was working with him in Pritzy's on it, he told me that yes, after Body Heat, when I was the new girl in town. Mm. Yeah. Uh, that they um, they had a bet going who would who would get me first. Mm. <laughs> Lovely term. Isn't nice, it? delightful boy. Isn't it, isn't nice. it respectful that you know. Oh. And uh, none of them is good the for you. Good, good for you. I just wanted to uh, the, the chemistry obviously between you and Michael in mm. Romancing the Stone literally mm. leaps out yeah. of the screen. And I know that you did have a bit of a flirtation off screen. Oh, and you thought was. he was separated from his wife, but well, did she was. turn up at dinner? Yeah, no, what happened was we were shooting in Mexico. And yes, we're out in the jungle, you know, it's we're going through all these adventures. And um I was feeling rather romantic toward Michael, I must confess. <laughs> we all would, I think. Yeah. 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 And, uh, yes, he was separated and I was single. And then we came back from the set one day and we're all, you know, all the company is sitting down for dinner and in walked his ex-wife. Or, no, his wife. Well, not, not quite. Not so her ex-wife. Yeah. 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 She became ex. Yeah. But at that time, no, she was not ex. So that was that. That because, was awkward. you know, you don't muck with other women's marriage. What did no, she no, say no. to you? Did she say something to you? <laughs> no. All oh, right. She no, no, she, she just did that. To me at all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you know Very what's interesting? Is, is you you were talking about you know your incredible films and uh, the film Body Heat. That sort of that sort of shot you into sort of a list oh, stardom. And, that and you, was you, the first one. Yeah. And you've said mm. in interviews that actually that stood you in good stead because rather than sort of starring in sort of lesser roles, as it were, you were you were straight up there. Do you think that helped you in terms of getting respect very quickly so that you, you didn't necessarily have the troubles that some actresses well, do as they're building I their reputation? I think it definitely protected me mm. because so many of the young women who were preyed or are preyed upon yeah. by the powers that be in the industry mm. are vulnerable to that kind yeah. of... You know, wanting, a lot of it's about wanting, power, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is about power. But mm. they, since my first role in film was such a breakthrough role, I was already past that point. They couldn't touch me. Mm. So uh, I don't think I would have. I think someone once tried to sort of say, you know, if I, then he. And I think I remember just laughing and thinking, how funny you are. <laughs> <laughs> and how do you feel now that um, later on in life, because I know you're a fellow sufferer of rheumatoid arthritis, oh, which I am, and yes. we got diagnosed about the same time. Oh. Um, so how do you feel now as an old woman with this industry that you were such, you know, a bombshell, and I wasn't too bad at looking when mm -hmm. I was younger, right? <laughs> That you get on and this, you this should have pressure. Said, Come on, yeah, yeah, no. yeah thank you. <laughs> You're still gorgeous. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. There you There's go. this pressure in this industry to have a nip and a tuck. Mm. I mean, I had a stitch mm. lift, and it did. Uh, it served me uh, right. I got a, a series out of it, and I won't uh, have anything else done. Um, but I admire you because. You've had nothing. No, else. I, I How actually. How do you get I've away earned, with not doing I've that? I've earned these wrinkles. I even oh. know exactly. This one's from Martha. 
I know exactly where they come from. Um, I was going to ask you about, because the medication associated with arthritis is, yeah. is, you, can make you quite puffy. Well, you see, when I was now, you diagnosed... you were accused of being uh, alcoholic. When I was diagnosed, um, this is about 20 years ago, yeah. Yeah. They had no, none of the medications that they have now. They had no real yeah. treatment mm -hmm. other than steroids. Just yeah. Yeah. throwing mm. steroids at you. And without them, truly, uh, you could not walk, you could mm. not move. But if you are on 50 milligrams a day or more of yeah. steroids, mm -hmm. you blow yeah. up. You cannot, you, you do. Yeah. And the thing at that time was no one understood what an autoimmune disease mm. was. Mm. It was and mysterious it's all like it's and frightening. As well, isn't it, yeah. other people? And so we know that people would hire drunks you yeah. know, and figure they could keep an eye on them or something, but they would never hire someone with a disease they didn't yeah. understand. Yeah. Isn't that so it was better to not say. To not say anything. When I did yeah. um, Strictly Come Dancing, which is like Dancing with the Stars, oh, you nobody are believed. Brave. I, oh, it was way back before it got really bad. But, right. um, I, I, I did that, and nobody believed I had rheumatoid arthritis. Mm. So it's the same thing as them saying, you know, you were an alcoholic or whatever, and you thought it well, was better to say you were an alcoholic. It was better. Well, no, I never said that. You better tell I let them, them say it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah.